Can you sell your private company shares on your own? The short answer is it's possible. If you're going to sell your private company shares on your own, your biggest responsibility would be to find a suitable buyer. Any buyer of private company shares has to be an accredited investor, and you will need to provide the private company proof that your chosen buyer is accredited per regulatory guidelines to close the sale. After finding an accredited investor interested in buying your shares, you will need to negotiate the terms of the sale and gather all required forms and paperwork to craft the proposed stock transfer agreement. You will then need to obtain the private company's approval on the sale. Once the private company approves the stock sale, you'll have to work with a transfer agent to move the shares to the buyer to complete the transaction process. In summary, while serving as your own broker can be as adventurous as solo hiking, selling private company shares can be a time-consuming and a complex undertaking. Before embracing this path, make sure you're well-equipped for the challenge ahead. In the dynamic journey of startups and private companies, periodic share buyback programs or tender offers may emerge. These events allow employee shareholders and early investors to sell their shares at a predetermined price per share, either back to the company or to approve external investors. However, these programs are not guaranteed. They may not occur frequently, if at all. If your company does conduct a buyback program or tender offer, eligibility criteria are often set, including tenure with the company and a permissible quantity of shares for sale. An encouraging aspect is that since the company orchestrates these sales, you can capitalize on its resources during the transaction. Additionally, the stock sale enjoys the company's official endorsement. Yet, keep these two things in mind. The sale price is set by the company during these events, leaving no room for negotiation. Furthermore, companies prioritize their interests, which might not always perfectly align with your personal needs, unlike a broker-client relationship.